All right, hey, Josh, Attica Lumber Company. This video, I wanna talk about really the cost differential between a four by six, six by six, and a three ply laminated column. And I just actually looked at the prices before I came out today to shoot this video. 60 by 100, 16 feet tall in progress right here. As you can see, these guys are on the backside putting up the steel. But the cost difference, for example, now in this building, a 60 by 100, we're gonna use a three ply. And again, according to Purdue University, and it's pretty top notch engineering school, but Purdue University says a three ply is 30% stronger than a six by six. So I was just looking at the numbers here and a three ply laminated column is 11% as of today, okay? As of today, 11% more than a six by six solid core CCA post. And then a four by six, a six by six would be 30% more than a four by six. So it, it all depends. This is relative. Obviously, if you're doing a smaller building, man, you can consider a four by six, six by six, depending on your budget. So that kind of gives you an idea as far as post selection. So you, what we did here is we went down 54 inches. So what we did here, you can see the site, see the stone that we brought in is a 411 stone mix, but we went down 54 inches. Then we set the post on a cookie and then what we do is we put two by six treated and we run it as an uplift so again so this this post doesn't come obviously you know to secure it down there in the hole but we put it east and west and north and south so two two by sixes that are applied to the bottom of this post that are in the hole so this post is sitting on a concrete cookie and um down on the ground again we go 54 inches in ohio 42 inches is the, is the frost line so we want to get that below that and then we backfill it again with this highway stone right here you can see um that's a 411 stone mix you can see the actual actual site it was pretty sandy if you look at this a lot of sand here on this site but we brought in this stone and Again, I've said this in other videos, but you don't want to fill it with this clay dirt. Look at the clay dirt, for example. If you fill it with this clay dirt, water's not going to be able to run away or dissipate from that. But if you have the stone mix, water can aerate and it can move. So a little thing for you um, as far as uh, the backfill. But that's really important to get this set up. You don't want to have post rot and so forth. And there's always ob obviously options to do a concrete wet set concrete perma columns and we do all those applications as well but this customer thought three ply would be best for his budget application and usage but again diagonal bracing running 45 degree right there running two by six and then we're running a two by six as well so this little short little video just want to explain what we do as far as the depth and how we set our posts so for more information at a keep following the journey like the video, give it a thumbs up. Out of Columbus.